Hello, hello, hello. Sir David the Bard. <clears throat> I'm coming to you uh, from the Bonham and Bailey Circus. Uh, they have a, a sign out front that says, uh, Help Wanted. And the uh, attorneys that represented the Mormon Church uh, in the first hearing in England concerning the fraud case are in line outside. I was trying to get their autographs, but, you know, they have... <laughs> hoods over their heads, kind of like in the temple, but a KKK hood. So anyway, anyway, I have a link that I'd like you to take a look at. It's a pretty comprehensive link on the second anointing. Now, this is really secret shit in the Mormon church. There's not too many people that get a second anointing, also called uh, a calling and election made sure. What this uh, cult um, act is, is when you go to the temple as a regular Mormon and you just pay your damn money, um, you are anointed to become a king and a priest and a priestess and have dominion over the universes, whatever. In other words, if you're a bozo, it ain't going to happen. Well, they have another ordinance that's very secret. It's people who pay a lot of tithing money, <laughs> like Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney. <laughs> Did I say Cayman Islands? Did I say Swiss bank account? Did I say a, a liar, a cheater, and a thief? I didn't say any of those things. Anyway, the Mormon church has a little spot and a little group of people that they really push to the high, high point. And they don't tell the other poor bastards that are good members of their church anything about it. If you're a Mormon, you're learning more right now about the second anointing than you'll ever know in the Mormon church. How come I know? I'm not a Mormon, and you are, and you don't know. Well, uh, can you spell cult? <laughs> anyway, what the link is down below is it tells you um, many things about the second anointing. But here's the, the funniest one, okay? The court case over in... Um, Is the baby here? It's hard. I'm not using it. Okay, how'd the mother feel about you babysitting? She was, she was okay with it. Everything's okay? Did you put a blanket around that baby this yeah. time? Okay, well, you can be here for an hour or so, then go back to work. I'm on here. Well, I'm off then. Okay. I got a job. <laughs> she got a job. <laughs> she is so excited. She got her first real babysitting job today. It's two days a week. It pays her ten bucks a day. So she's anyway. Anyway, the calling an election made sure is for special people, not for the dog shit people. <laughs> the fifteen million that don't exist, but if they did, there's like eight hundred of them that get the second anointing. Well, the guy Tom Phillips that is suing them uh, in the criminal court. If Tom Phillips is not suing them. He's made a complaint to the criminal court. And the criminal court is uh, trying the Mormon church for fraud. He is given the second anointing. He is now a god. When you go to the second anointing, there's not um, a um, you might become or you will be if you live the commandments. It's an ordination that you're a god. <laughs> How can anyone believe this shit? But anyway, I'm just a reporter. I'm just the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. So anyway, they can't excommunicate him. <laughs> He's a god. He's like over most of the people in the world. He is an ordained god. Well, he was a bishop for like six years in a couple of different wards. And then he was a state president for five years. Uh, and uh, he got the second anointing, and the church has just screwed itself. They can't, they can't fire a god. They can't excommunicate a god. So they're, they're just running around, running around, going, it's a cult, it's a cult. And so Barnum and Bailey wants them, and, uh, you know, uh, I told you the attorneys uh, quit for the church in the first hearing. They go, we're out of here, we're out of here. So the church has to hire new people to come in again on Thursday uh, when they make the final decision. So anyway, take a look at the link. And the differences between Mormons who go to the Mormon temple for their endowment, 
they're anointed to become gods. Now, see, the Mormon Church has changed this in the last two days. Uh, they put out a new essay that says, no, you aren't going to bec uh, become a god. You're going to become like a god. <laughs> god. They can't run backpedal as fast. <laughs> They're like the Olympic backpedaling church of the world. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see a real god, take a look at Tom Phillips. He's a real god. And uh, he can kick your ass. And evidently he can do it in court, too. So anyway, the Mormons have created their own... <laughs> God Frankenstein, and they can't get rid of him. <laughs> and he, he's chasing them all around the world. So anyway, take a look at the link, uh, enjoy it, and uh, realize you could have become a god uh, until a week ago. Now you can only become like a god. <laughs> and in the next week, you're not going to be a god at all. You're just a regular man <laughs> paying money to us. <laughs> Health in the name of on the bones, strength in the loins, and in the sinews. Power in the priesthood be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. This is the Bard, up, going, and gone.